Today's video does have a $20 giveaway, so if you want a chance at winning that, then all you have to do is comment your in-game name in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to play Aragon, then click on the link in the description that sends you to their Discord. And once you join the Discord, you can just go to the download section and download the client from there. Quick shout out to Suffer for winning the last episode's giveaway. Make sure to message me in game or through Discord in order to claim your prize. Okay, so a recent update just came out yesterday for Aragon, and that is the Easter event update. And I will be going over all of this in just a minute, but I do want to kind of touch on other things as well because there is other stuff going on outside of just the Easter event. First of all, a lot of the donator bonds are now going to be at a discounted rate for Easter. So if you're going to donate, now is a pretty solid time to do so, especially since there was a lot of new bundles added with AP Mystery boxes they go from mini all the way up to massive and honestly if I was gonna donate I would focus on the, the AP mystery boxes because AP is so important on this server but also we do have a new monster perk which is called explosive crack which is a crazy name but that automatically allows you to use fishing explosives when fighting Kraken so that makes things a bit more AFK -able. and there's three new pet perks one's called glutton which means your food and potions will heal by an additional percentage careful consumer is going to have a percentage chance of not consuming food and potions and super reflexes is going to have a percentage chance of completely avoiding incoming damage which seems pretty op and there's also a new feature with the pet storage which allows you to store your pets and save bank space and there's a lot of tweaks and fixes that you can look over if you want to check out the update for yourself but of course i can't go over all of them because it's just so much going on down there now we do have to talk about the easter event because that is what this whole update is revolving around every two and a half hours the easter dungeon will be populated with moles and implings and catching these moles and implings will provide easter eggs which can be handed into the easter bunny for points and then the easter points can be used to purchase a few items including an easter mystery box which contains limited time items this is kind of what the area looks like and these are the items right here i'll probably have to zoom in because it's a little bit of a small picture but you got bonds a pet it looks like and an easter mystery box so we're definitely going to be checking this out at some point today i don't know when it first spawned but every two and a half hours it will come back so I'll definitely try to put that in today's video. But anyways, we're on the Hardcore Iron Man today. So of course, we do have to try to get our weekly and daily task done. And honestly, I think that it's going to be a little bit difficult because I just didn't get a very good draw of task when it comes to the weekly PVM stuff. The only two that I have a chance at doing, I feel like, is killing Bork within 65 seconds and also killing the Abyssal Spider within 120 seconds. But both of those are going to be pretty hard. Killing the Abyssal Spider 175 times is going to take way too long for me because I have no pet perks and I only have a base gear setup of barrows with a amulet of the damned which is good but without pet perks it's going to be pretty difficult just because of the timing with all of it also the necromancer is in the wilderness and every now and then I do find myself getting pk there so I can't go there either and completing 52 medium slayer task is just not going to happen so I kind of have to rely on the miscellaneous stuff which is just passive things that I can maybe complete and for the mini games I also didn't really luck out on that I can either do 32 barrows runs which is just going to take way too long or I can do arena of avatars or fight caves LMS weapon game and those are all just pretty time consuming or they are dangerous activities so I can't do it I also don't have a BGS so the only thing I can really do to try to kill Bork is blood barraging and I do not think I'm going to be able to do that within 65 seconds there's just absolutely no way unless Arams with the amulet of the damned is just so incredibly OP but I really don't think that's going to be the case it usually if I remember correctly when I was first starting out on this server and I was trying to blood barrage Bork it was taking like a minute and 50 seconds just to get one kill so i really don't think that i'm going to be able to do it but i will try it i am a little bit worried because this is going to be the first time of me just going out and actually bossing outside of quests and fight caves and all that but this will be like my first boss kill attempt i will get the kill more than likely but i don't think it's going to be fast enough in order to get those weekly tasks completed so if that's not the case then i'll have to figure out what i'm going to be doing today and i might just work towards some like primal weaponry or something just so i can do skilling tasks in the future also getting overloads is going to be kind of important now but I do have some combat potions that I can work with they're not quite as good as overloads of course but I do think that I should start trying to figure out how I can get overloads and also start trying to figure out when it's the proper time to get the overloaded perk I just got that on my main account and I do definitely think it's going to be very important for this Iron Man account that way I save as many doses as possible and I'm not just flying through all my overloads and being inefficient with them but yeah let's go ahead and test out these Bork kills I'm a little bit nervous because he does have a pretty strong magic attack but I can also heal that up with my my blood barrage it just comes down to how consistent I hit with that this is my first time PVMing with magic so just like with the carols and torags I'm kind of just feeling out the accuracy and it really doesn't seem that bad but 
I don't think it's going to be good enough to get the kill within the time limit for the weekly task. So I'm going to have to get my pet perks going here eventually. I'm going to have to start finding the way to do that. And I think that is going to be with skilling. Like I mentioned before, I'm going to have to start working on the primal stuff because to start things off with this account and all the AP farming, the tasks are really just going to come down to luck because I could get really easy task or really hard task, or even for the miscellaneous and minigame stuff, I could get like Cyclopses or whatever. So those are like really great tasks that I can do, but it just comes down to the luck of the draw and I didn't really luck out too much this week and this is when doing those skilling tasks is going to be very handy and I'm probably going to have to do every single skilling task every week because otherwise I'm just going to be very limited and the AP is going to be very slow but anyways that is the first kill in two minutes and 19 seconds so I'm just going to teleport out of here because there's no way I'm getting it in 65 seconds nothing wrong with doing a quick test kill though we now know where the Arams lies and although Bork has a reasonable amount of defense the Arams is still not really good enough to consistently hit it and damage it without pet perks but eventually I will go back because I want brimstone boots and a brimstone ring and that's going to be very important for all combat styles so unfortunately all of the PVM tasks that I got this week are just going to have to be skipped unfortunately the Bork one is just it's just too hard for my account same goes with the abyssal spider the necromancer is too risky and as I mentioned before the medium slayer tasks are just not going to work for me so we're going to have to try to do some skilling tasks and unfortunately it's just going to take a long time to do all these so I got to figure out a way to get these done efficiently and the upgrader table is going to be very handy for stuff like that we have have the wicked butterfly net the elder harpoon gilded elder pickaxe the ember pickaxe all this good stuff and of course even the primal pickaxe and the primal hatchet which is like the most amazing skilling tools you're gonna find but we kind of have to work from the ground up i don't even have any dragon equipment yet for any of this so it's just gonna be hard i gotta work up from the bottom but that's what everyone has to do so not a big deal and the prestige shop is gonna go hand in hand with the upgrader as well because there's a lot of things here that just really improves the quality of life of skilling and makes skilling a lot faster in general for example lumberjack is only 750 points and that gives you a 33 percent chance of chopping an additional log so i'm gonna have to start prestiging stuff at this point i didn't think i would have to do this so early on into the account i thought i was going to be bossing much earlier but um it just seems like the weekly tasks are not really working for me right now so i gotta do what i gotta do i have to do some skilling and i'm actually gonna ask for some advice as to how i can get this done in the most efficient way possible and then just start doing it so the obvious way of getting prestige points right now is going to be through my combats but i didn't really want to do that but i think i'm gonna have to and also through salvaging because i can get that back up to 99 very quickly because I got a lot of Barrows gear and while I'm skilling and trying to get these weekly tasks done I can just prestige while I get 99s so it's just going to be a pretty big cycle of skilling and bossing I guess for the future which again I feel a little bit bad because I did say that I was going to get into PVMing and not really going down the Iron Man skiller route but of course I have to do that early on it looks like because this is back to back weeks now where my weekly task has just been a little bit too difficult I figured there would be a couple I could do like the skeletal horror or something like that where it's just a large amount of kills for a relatively easy boss but I was going to pretty much focus on the miscellaneous and minigame task but it just I haven't gotten a lucky draw with those either my first task I want to do for the weekly skilling task is going to be catching a thousand rock tails that seems pretty relaxing and chill honestly but in order to do so I want to make sure I have the best quality of life perks possible so I'm going to start prestiging now I probably won't get enough points in order to get everything I want but I will reset my strength my ranged my magic and also my salvaging and that's going to definitely suck because I got to train all those back up but it's just combat stuff and salvaging it should be very quick and easy especially since I have guthans I can probably find an afk spot but yeah it just kind of hurts to do this because it's like not exactly what I was planning on doing I'm not worried about the xp rates or anything after prestiging or getting them back up it's obviously a pretty easy grind like I just said with the guthans or whatever but it's just I didn't want to do skilling I wanted to get into bossing as soon as possible but we're gonna have to do this anyway so let's just go ahead and bite the bullet and it is done so I have four prestiges total now and I'm up to 545 prestige points which isn't a bunch but it's definitely good enough to get something i'm gonna look through here and figure out what the best perk is gonna be for me to catch those rock tails in the most efficient way possible and after i look through that and figure out what i'm gonna do i'll update you of course and we'll get going with the fishing grind it would also be a really good time for me to start working on getting my skillers backpack because that is something that's going to be very important so i'm actually probably gonna do that first just in case i get a 1kc backpack because that's gonna make everything so afk it's very important for iron man especially if you want to just start farming weekly tasks so i i do think 
think I have one in my bank somewhere. Yeah, I do have one skill scroll in my bank, so I'm actually going to focus on this. I know this episode seems like it's kind of going all over the place, but if you've played the server, you know how important it is in order to make a skilling or to get a skilling backpack, so I'm going to try to do that. This is a level five skill scroll, and I need to create 20 anti-poisons, which shouldn't be too hard depending on what secondary is required. I need to create 20 of these, and I need 20 unicorn horn dust as my secondary, so I'm going to buy the unicorn horns, and then I just, I'm pretty sure I just get the pestle and mortar and grind them up, and then I can just make these with, what was it? Was it, um, Marintel, I think? Or something like that. I can, I'm, I know I can do this. It's just, I gotta check it. I haven't really made too many anti-poisons. I don't have it memorized. So I have all the stuff lined up in order to make these anti-poisons. As we see, I have 0% completed, but after doing just one, let's see if it tracks. Of course it will. I just want to, you know, double check, make sure everything is going right. And yeah, I have one out of 20 done. So 5% completed. Let's go ahead and finish this up. I wonder if it's kind of like a clue scroll where there's going to be multiple steps. It did say it was a level five. So maybe there's five steps or something like that, but I'm just curious as to how it all works. Yeah, look at me being a real Iron Man. I didn't want to do this, but here I am skilling, doing skill scrolls this early on. Of course, again, I know I have to, and it was planned to do this, but at first I kind of just wanted to rush bossing. I thought that would be really fun to watch, but here we are being an Iron Man. Anyways, that is the 20 anti-poisons created. I'm going to submit this and see what happens, and no 1kc backpack. Damn, I just got 25k from that. What a scam. That's okay. As I skill today, I should probably come across another skill scroll and have a chance at getting that backpack at some point. But yeah, that was pretty damn easy. So I'm just going to continue doing that. I see a lot of people getting their backpacks within like 10 to 20 KC. So even though they take a little bit of time to actually get the rates seem halfway okay with it. Let's go ahead and get back to focusing on rock tails again, because I am going to have to catch over a thousand of them and I don't really have any great perks or equipment for doing so. I don't even have the skillers backpack at this point. The only thing that I'm really going to be able to get is the master beta perk, which is actually really good because it's only 500 points and it makes it so that fishing no longer requires bait and I do have 500 points so I'm going to go ahead and get that which is a very solid perk for rock tails specifically so I'm pretty sure I'm only going to have to use a fishing rod while doing this and nothing else which is good I ha I don't really have too much experience with all this skilling stuff on the server I'll be honest I've pretty much only done pvming for the most part so let's just go ahead and teleport over there and I think I should be able to start catching the fish with just a fishing rod and I'm really trying to think of any other way to make this as fast as possible because I know there's a lot of different ways you can make things efficient when it comes to these skilling tasks but I still don't have any of that high level stuff because I'm a brand new account so I'm just gonna kind of have to sit here and fish also let me go ahead and quickly set up my um skilling presets so I don't have to run to the bank every two seconds not that it takes two seconds to fill up my inventory that last one took about five minutes to fill up my inventory and I have to do 40 inventory I mean this is basically gonna be three hours of fishing should I just make this a fishing special or something I don't know I don't know Honestly, I'm loving this so far though. I've already caught in 200 fish and I've just been sitting here AFKing and it's been great. This is actually not too bad. It's just taking a little bit longer than what I wanted, especially when I logged on today expecting to do bossing and now I'm sitting here fishing. But you know what? Again, it's not that bad. I'm really enjoying it actually. So I'll see you guys probably like at around 500 fish and I'll let you know if I got like a skill scroll or anything at that point. All right, so I'm past a thousand. I don't remember exactly how much it was. It was like 1100 or less, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna go check the bulletin board just to make sure, but uh, I think I think I'm pretty much done here at this point. Okay, so I did just finish that weekly task. Definitely not worth it because I spent a few good hours doing that and I only got four AP for it. Maybe it's something that I'd like to do an hour here, an hour there, but I mean, just these skilling tasks in general just seem to not be very good, especially since they only give you four AP. I know it comes down to like getting your perks and your equipment all figured out, but it just doesn't seem that good, at least at the beginning stages. But I mean, six AP is six AP. Maybe Maybe I'll get something good from this loot key stack as well. That would be really nice. However, the fact that I have a thousand rock tails is now really nice because even on my main account, I use rock tails all the time with my brews. It's just a really good healing fish. So I'm glad I have that and I can cook it in the future if I ever want to. And let's go ahead and open up this loot chest and see if I get anything good as well. And mm, I don't know, nothing really too good. It seems like, damn, it looks like I just missed out on the Easter event while doing that fishing. I was trying to pay attention, but honestly, I forgot towards the end 
a little bit and I did just miss out on the event. It spawns back in in another two hours and I was really hoping I could do that today. I still might be able to because I probably can get another task in and then do this at the end but I'm not too sure. I guess I could pass the time by doing four Barrows completions and 17 Cyclops kills at the Warriors Guild. That would be solid. I would get four achievement points for that and six more keys. It's nothing crazy but just a little bit of a time passer. I'm getting my combat stats up. I'm going to do my weekly task that I, or my daily task that I said earlier for the Warriors Guild and the Barrows runs and then also finish off with Easter. So everything is looking like it's going to wrap up nicely. Also, it would be really nice if you guys could leave any sort of tips or advice in the comments below as to the best route of getting perks and primal equipment or crystal equipment or whatever for doing those weekly skilling tasks because I've done a few of them and every single one of them has been a long like draining not draining but a long time consuming process again I know that you can use primal for certain things and the harpoons for certain things but maybe there's something I'm missing I have a perk that I got earlier and I'm still gonna work on that but I mean right now I mean there's not much I can do I'm just a I have a brand new account basically so I mean I'm kind of limited so obviously melee is like the main combat style I want to focus on and I'm at 70 strength so I can use my Torx hammers again but I'm gonna work on getting 99 attack first just so I can wear the attack cape in the warriors guild and not get rid of my tokens so playing a little bit of the long game here but um why did I just switch to strength I just said I was doing attack what the hell am I doing I don't know what I'm doing right now I have 200 tokens I could definitely go in there and still get 17 cyclops kills without doing this but for some reason I'm here killing black animated arm to get more tokens that's kind of the day i'm having right now it's just everything's foggy i didn't mention this in the patch notes earlier because it was more so like located in the quality of life section and i didn't really go over that i just went over like the big headliners but they added more cyclopses to the warriors guild so now when there's like three or four people here there's always going to be a spot for you to camp i cannot wait until i get fast hands with this torag set it is going to make things so much easier and i'm going to be absolutely shredding through everyone once i get it it's just one tick too slow if it was a little bit faster it would be like godlike especially once i get also fighter's fury it's gonna be really good and it's gonna be really fun to use it but as of right now it's still good it's probably my best combat style or my best combat set but it's still just a little bit too slow i know i've said it a lot in this series but i'm very excited to see how good the torax actually is once i start getting all these pet perks because it's tanky it's gonna do a lot of damage it's gonna hit faster than normal and the accuracy and damage is gonna be boosted even more with the amulet of the dam so i'm just pretty excited to see how it goes anyways that is the daily task completed not that big of a deal 2 ap for 17 cyclops kills that's fine i'm gonna go ahead and teleport out of here and get ready to do some barrow runs actually you know what fuck the barrows runs i don't need the extra two ap that's a bunch of bullshit honestly i don't even care i'm just gonna wait for the easter event and see what kind of rewards i can get from that maybe i can even figure that out from teleporting there right now and just talking to the bunny i was hoping i could see what was in this box though it says it contains random easter presents but what is what does that mean i mean i'm kind of assuming it's just gonna be like um cosmetics and stuff but i don't really know okay so the event is active finally and there are some easter moles here that i should be able to kill and then I just trade them into the bunny afterwards, I guess. I don't think there's really too much more to it besides that, but I think I should be able to get enough for a mystery box, so we'll see what comes from those. Oh my god, it's like a giant mold. Did you see that? I hope I don't have to chase it all around. And let's see, I think they drop uh, Easter eggs and I pick them up and bring them to the bunny and we'll see how many points I get from that. So there's an Easter egg. There's some monster tickets as well, so I guess I could claim those. 400, that's pretty good. And now hand into the Easter bunny. How many points do I get? I get one point. At 10,000 coins too though, okay, so I need to get 50 of these in order to get one mystery box. So let's see how much I can actually get. I don't know how long this is going to be active for. I think it's supposed to be like an hour or whatever, but let's see if I can get at least one mystery box. There's a bunch of different types of eggs, it looks like, and I wonder if the type of egg depends on like its rarity or something and gives you extra points because I know the first couple of eggs I got, I don't remember which one, one of these two over here, they actually only give me one point, but maybe these two up here, maybe they give me like five or ten points, maybe because they're like a rare egg, I don't know, they're probably all the same, I haven't checked into it, but I'll let you know in just a few minutes after I get a few more. Okay, yeah, actually I'm right, which is a rarity, I usually am completely wrong when I try to figure things things out myself but it definitely seems like some of these eggs are giving extra points I'd be getting 350k coins and also 31 points so i'll keep grinding this for as long as possible and then just hand in everything at the end so let's hand in all of these eggs this should be enough in order for me to get a mystery box 53 points very nice all the eggs are gone let's go ahead and trade the easter bunny now and grab a mystery box wow okay so there are some rares you can definitely get here and also an easter defender that is so sick i i hope i get that even though i can't 
can't even use it. I'll have to go out of my main account and do this again just so I can get some of this stuff because it does look pretty cool. A pink party hat and a crystal purple party hat. That would be really cool as well. Let's just try to get something nice. Oh my god, I got a patch bomb. Hell no, I'm getting off.